Hey guys, and how's it going? I thought I'd make a video on just doing the 88s or any of the pistons if you want to trim the piston skirts just by itself so that if people are looking for that, you can run through this video. And I have to go through the whole engine build to find it. These are actually a good set of uh, 92 Molles that are already shortened. So a lot of people might think um, you can't shorten them. Uh, and it might, you know, cause issues with piston skirt wear or something like that. But the bigger ones came this way. So anyway, all we're doing is taking the 88s and shortening the skirts so that you can make a stroke or a crank clear. It's not a big deal and it really won't hurt the piston. All right, some of the tools you need are a caliper. They sell these at Harbor Freight and they work fine. Uh, you know, it, it doesn't need to be exactly 200 thousandths, but, you know, I set it at 200 and then tighten this little set screw right here. I don't know if I can do that while I'm on video. Tighten this guy up at 200. Okay, then I'll do what we did in the video. The trick is to make them all exactly the same. It's really not rocket science, guys. It's really not hard to do. You might freak out watching it thinking it's you got to have that big machine I'll show you the tools you need you need one of these scribe the piston using this tool it'll just make a little scratch around the bottom so you can see it really clearly you can use a flap wheel or you can use like one of these this is nice and easy to control they make a wider one at Harbor Freight you can pick up one of these I got this on Amazon maybe I'll put a link in the description for one of these it was pretty cheap to buy this when and I like this one it works really good I like it better than the Harbor Freight one because the, the uh, belts just uh, are really easy to change you just push this in and it locks and then you need to take the belt off put the new one on push it again and it opens back up so it's real easy to use you could use a you know you might be able to use a cutoff wheel I wouldn't recommend it because if you get a little bit off it bounces a little bit um, that might be a problem trying to do it I mean if you have it firmly held maybe if you put it in a vise wrap the piston in you know a thick cloth like this or something you can put it in a vise if you need to but just be really careful doing that um, not to scratch the sides of the piston of course, this is your job. You do it at your own risk. If you don't feel comfortable doing it, you can always have it done somewhere. Honestly, it's not that hard. So you might be shocked how easy it is. We thought it was just so easy. We used that big machine, but that was kind of nice to have. But again, you don't really need to use that. You could do it with one of these flap discs. Again, what I would do is I would start with this, okay? And then I would knock it down pretty good with one of these, okay? And this is a 40. They make finer ones if you really wanted to. I could just start with a 40. Go nice and slow. Take it off slow. Just don't put any weight on it. Don't try and do one section really hard. Just kind of work it, work it, work it. Take your time. There's no hurry. Then I just finish it out with a nice flat file. And uh, again, you will also need a gram scale. I don't have one here to show you. But you'll see that later in the video. You'll need a nice gram scale to weigh them before or weigh them after. All you're looking for is them to be the same weight. So, yeah, it it's not hard to do. You could take a little bit off of uh, of one of the piston skirts to even them out. If they thought they were a little bit off, use a file, do a little bit at a time, weigh them, check them, double check your work. But if you scribe that line nice and straight with one of these and you make it right exactly to that line and take your time like I said you can finish it out with a file get it right up to that line perfectly even for all the pistons you shouldn't have any issue with weight they should be pretty much all the same I've talked to several guys who've done it um, as well as we did it and it was pretty easy okay it wasn't hard at all so anyway Make sure if you watch the other video, be sure to like this one. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, you might want to do that now. When you do those things, it actually helps the algorithm decide to put this video up in the search. So when people are looking for it, they can easily find it.
likes and subscribe seem to do the trick. You could do this with 85 and a half pistons or 90, 88s. Uh, those are the all, I think, only ones that don't have short skirts. So if you want to use a 74 with either of those pistons, it's really not hard. You guys don't be fearful of it. Um, just like I said, take your time. There's no hurry. Um, you're, you're not trying to win a race or anything like that. Just take your time. And if you need to do any adjustments, you can use a drill. And uh, where we show later in the video, where I'm just going to kind of let the other part of the video run. And you'll see where we show you, you can drill um, on those little ribs or that little button to take some weight off to even them out if you end up there. Just take a little tiny bit off at a time, reweigh them, check them until they're all even. You shouldn't have any issues. If you cut the skirts all the same, I've talked to several guys, the weight comes out exactly the same. So anyway, I'll talk to you guys later in the video. Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm probably just going to let the rest of it run. So uh, I'll talk to you later in the next video if you end up watching one. Thanks for watching. Real quick, I just wanted to say um, if you have... If you're doing either the 74 short rod or regular or stock rod, I would say I would still do 200 thousandths off of it. Um, there's the guys that say you can, if you run stock rod length, that it will clear the counterweights. But based on my calculations of us doing it, um, I don't think it would. So if you take 200 thousandths off, it's going to be safe either way. So and it's not going to give take off too much of the piston. And it's, it's, again, those are still longer than the pistons I showed you in the beginning of the video. So anyway, I'll talk to you later. So what we've done now is we've stripped all the pistons down and then got them all just raw piston here. Got all the rings off. I do my rings. I take one groove off and I take the top one off. They take the middle one and put it in the second groove over. And then I take it off that way so that I don't break them. And then the oil rings usually not a problem. I just take one off, take them off uh, in three pieces, no problem. All right, so we just take the micrometer. We have it set at two hundred thousandths. Well, actually, that's what we figured out. We, I, I don't know. If I were going to do a seventy-four, um, or if you did short rods or long rods or whatever, I'd still cut them. I, I don't know. Or at least check them. But we figured 200,000 is what we needed to take off. So well, you that's can tell what we, we found out. We started off at 120 and we added yeah. another 75. And that's what yeah, we, we started off with the 125 and it, and it still hit. Yeah. So then we went to like 175 and we didn't feel comfortable. We're still too close. So we went to 200 and then we got plenty of clearance. So that's where we're at. Um, you can do whatever you think is right, but that's where we're thinking we're at. So we describe them like that. With a caliper. And then we use the caliper, of course. Yeah. You use the caliper, you just lock it in. You lock the caliper at 200 thousandths. Do them all the same. And we mocked it up here and made sure that. And we do that with the thing here. And you could use a cutoff wheel, or not a cutoff wheel, but a a grinder with a like a flap wheel or something and just very slowly don't try and do too much at a time just guide go right up to your line that's the way a lot of guys do it we got this fancy machine you guys so
If you look right there, you can just barely see the line. So we took it right up to the line and did them all the same. Then we're going to weigh them, make sure they're all the same. But I've had other guys that said they weighed them afterwards and there was really, there was no change in variance between them. So we'll check that and get back to you guys. Look at this. So we got done doing them all. I mean, all you got to do is, if, however you want to get it to that line perfectly, you can sit there with a file and do it whatever uh, I would suggest if you're going to use a flap wheel that you'd want it going this direction not too much going that way with a heavy grid or anything or use a finer grit just take your time but look 428 what's that one 428 428 428. Now watch. That's a, just a piece of paper. Oops. Didn't do it that time. No, it didn't do it that time. You did. Yeah. 436. 432. 432 with a piece of paper on it. So that's how accurate you can do it by just using that scribe method. Um, you can measure them if you want. But you should have a gram scale and check it just to make sure. Um, but anyway, that's a little... And if you need to take it off, you can take it off down the side of here. You can take it off right in there, one yeah. of those little ribs or yeah. something. Yeah, in yeah. between that little dot or whatever, just mm -hmm. anywhere in that area, right? Yeah, there. a little dot, the ribs or something. Drill press and little take tiny take bit. A little bit. You can only take a little tiny bit. That's going to be it. Anyway, that's how you do it. If you were going to do it yourself, I and mean, that's how we do it, and you guys can follow our way to do it. You can not do it. You can take it to a machine shop, have them do it. It's up to you, completely. It's you know your your engine, so. Anyway, that's how we do it, and look at that. Perfect.